Oh, makeup. The makeup. <laughs> uh, the makeup was terrifying. <laughs> One of the, you know, really specific detail in Aiden's story was that the character of Jake uh, was fat and had a mohawk. And uh, <laughs> I felt kind of weird about casting a fat kid in the role of a fat kid. You take a kid like Dawson, for example, who we cast as Jake, and he is a skinny 13-year-old and we needed to make him a fat 13-year-old. It was just a fat suit, fat makeup, and luckily we had Sarah Elizabeth on board. I had a conversation with her and said, you know, like, what can we do to make uh, Dawson super fat? So she came up with a plan and, and told me she wanted to do, and I, I trust her entirely, so we just kind of let her go with it. To do a prosthetic, the first thing you have to do is make a life cast of your actor. So we brought Dawson to my house one day, and we covered him in alginate, which is a gooey, jelly sort of thing that makes a full impression of his head and face. Next, we covered the alginate in plaster bandages to create a hard outer shell to protect the face cast. Uh, it's actually really funny because the person is entirely encased in plaster. Once those plaster bandages are hardened, then we take everything off and we fill the alginate with plaster, which is then what we sculpt on. Darla had to like dye the hair for the mohawk and sculpt it ahead of time so that it could come off of his head when the spider bites it off. So there's a lot of really complicated little makeup pieces in there. To make the mohawks, I used an old school technique called the float method, where you take loose hair, glue it to a plastic head, add product to hold it together, and then remove it as one solid piece. Because this was done for film, we needed to have a few different mohawks on set so that we could attach and remove as necessary. Uh, we also needed a couple different sizes since we were working with miniatures. The only time we had with Dawson was when we did the life cast. We never actually got to do a makeup test. So when we did get to shoot day, we weren't 100% sure what we were gonna come up against. I didn't really know what the makeup was gonna be like. We spent four hours in the makeup chair putting on prosthetics and a full head cast, and in the end I was bald with a mohawk. He had a, a bit of a fight sequence where he had to battle these giant spider legs, and so in addition to the prosthetic makeup and the fat suit he was already wearing, uh, he had to put on another, uh, you know, 10 pounds of sporting equipment. So again, you know, he was really restrictive, but I think he really used the sort of constraints to his movement to add to the character. The makeup couldn't really make me like move my head. I could only move it from like side to side like that. And I had to move my whole body the turn. Once I saw myself in the mirror, I just kind of developed the character and it was creepy in a way, but awesome. The stuff that we were seeing on screen, him kind of just like stiffly swatting at the spider legs uh, with the golf club really worked out well. So I think, uh, yeah, I mean, he, he used the time before we shot to kind of get used to uh, you know, the whole setup that he was he was stuck in and, and used it to his full potential. Good times in the fat suit. <laughs>